Hello out there folks, it's Dave from Dave Station VR, and uh, End Space, which is a game that we've had for a while, uh, just got a big update today. They posted about it on Reddit. It's uh, version 1.04, and if you look at the patch notes, they have done a lot of stuff. Um, they said they've been working on releasing all kinds of different versions of this, you know, Oculus Go, uh, Gear Rift, you know, it's on everything basically. Um, and so some of the improvements they've added to other versions they hadn't had a chance to uh, add to the PS4 one yet but they did today. So uh, it seems like a pretty big update, lots of graphical stuff, um, bug fixes, audio changes, gameplay tweaks. Um, so I actually had played through some of it before, hey Pocket Monkey, but I started back over at the new tu tutorial, and I'm on stage two now it looks like, so let's, uh, let's check it out. And I am playing with the HOTUS. This is one of the Illegal games mining has been reported that supports the, the HOTUS, the and it's pretty system. dope. And no they actually tweaked the, the HOTUS support, too, I think. Find them and destroy them. All right, we got to get these ninja miners, fellas. Get these ninja miners. Now, uh, if you're not familiar with the HOTUS already, check it out. It's pretty cool. Two um, legal miners have been spotted hands -on in the Fabtos crystal stick. field. These I'm going to be doing some cool maneuvers. These crystals are extremely rare and are used in the creation of warp gates and drives. What you see before you is part of two major crystal Well, the other thing besides the patch is that it's it's on sale for like 13 bucks right now if you got a PS Plus account. Destroy the miners so. before they can escape and sell off what they stole. My first playthrough didn't really blow me away. Hey, GT, how's it going, man? But that said, it was a long time ago. Uh, I was, honestly, I looked back and it was a drunk play. So, to be fair, I, I should probably apologize to the developer for not doing a proper playthrough of it. <laughs> but um, I am much more sober this time, and I'm having fun with it so far. I played about 15 minutes or so before I got in. Okay, we got missile lock. Are we blowing this thing up or what? Is that our, am I blowing this up? I didn't listen well enough. Uh... Target's in range. Don't let okay, them escape. Yeah. They know every ounce counts. The last thing right, we need is for the crystal fragments to fall to the wrong we'll hands. Right Get out of here, ninjas. Alright, well that guy was fairly simple to destroy. Oh, here we go. Here's the real fight. Guys, I've always loved dogfighting games, like ever since like X-Wing and stuff. And I like that this has a, it's like a single player campaign. Um, you know, EVE is cool and obviously way bigger budget. This is made by two guys, which is pretty incredible. But the thing about EVE is it's pretty much, unless you want to play with bots, it's like a, it's a multiplayer only game. And I am not great at the kind of games that I enjoy. Like I like these games, but I'm not going to say that I'm real good at them. So, it's cool being able to play an actual single-player campaign in this style, uh, and I really like that. From what I've played a bit so far tonight with the updates. Um, like I said, the graphics definitely seem to have been improved. Um, I didn't love the sound design before either. Mission it seems like they've improved a lot of stuff Miners there as well. Cargo eliminated. Head back for debrief. Your oh, ship's warp drive is suffering from Got interference, him. so you'll have to use the warp gate. Okay. Make your way there. That was a pretty quick mission. Use. One of our spies reports that the Resistance has a warp drive prototype. Uh -oh. You'll be extracting the prototype and meeting you at a rendezvous point. Return to base, contractor. Your On next my mission way. will follow shortly. Alright, so there's uh, various stuff to do here. I'll walk you guys through it real quick. Uh, you can see I've got a booster that's going down. It's an ambush. I've also got a break. Oh, here we go. We see five got missiles. I can use the secondary fire button, and then I've also got my normal gun. Now by default, it's going to have you on, um, your gun is aiming where the front of your ship is as far as the lasers go. Not the missiles, obviously. The missiles are head tracked because they just lock on. But um, there is an option to switch it so that the lasers track where you're aiming with your head, and I feel like that's a lot easier to play. I like that a lot better. It's just way more intuitive. So if you play this, I would definitely suggest putting that on uh, by default. Glad to have an excuse to use my HOTUS again, honestly. This thing is fun. Got him. Alright, alright. Hey, Mediocrity, how's it going? Oh, 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 oh. Where are you at? Where are you at? Honestly, this is looking and, and running pretty smoothly. Um, 
You know, for a game that started as a mobile VR port, playing this right now on my HOTUS, eh, I mean, it certainly still is a budget title. Uh, you know, it's like I said, it's like 13 bucks right now, but it feels pretty good. Got him. Can't ambush me. I guess we know what was responsible for the interference. Clearly, they understand the importance of this crystal field and aren't ready to give it up without a fight. Yeah, Let's make sure they don't get another opportunity. All right, let me adjust my but fan real quick. I usually get a fan blowing on my face, to the but it's not the right spot. Debriefing. One sec. Sorry, I missed this last comment. Uh, the immersion is pretty good. Like I said, they improved the graphics uh, to the point where it seems almost immediately uh, more compelling to me than it did before. It seems less like a mobile port and more like a game uh, that you would buy on a console. And that said, also, I didn't play with HOTUS originally. I just played with DualShock 4. Um, it always had HOTUS support. I just didn't have one when I originally played it. So that may be adding to the immersion a little bit. Okay, so we've got ship upgrades here. I don't think I have enough for anything yet. Yeah, doesn't look like it. So we need at least 25,000 to upgrade anything. All right, so on to the mission board. I'll show you guys the settings real quick, just so you know what's going on uh, with that. So you got your uh, gamepad, flight stick, you know, you can choose your controls. Uh, I've been having some weird issues where when I select flight stick, if I have a gamepad connected, it goes back to gamepad when I hit save and exit here. But it doesn't affect the gameplay, just the button prompts it shows you on screen, like in the tutorial and stuff. Um, you've got sound options, and that's it. That's pretty much it. There's no comfort options. Um, it is what it is. I don't think it really induces any kind of motion sickness as far as I've noticed. Um, for being a game where you're spinning around in space, it's not too bad. All right, next mission. Let's do it. While you were in debrief, our agent successfully stole the oh, TLF shit. Warcraft prototype. Could be doing that to me. Unfortunately for him, the ship he escaped in was rigged with a remote. So one thing that they struck. added uh, was dynamic the cargo was animation on the planet, and that adds a lot too. Does not get the device back. Oh yeah, definitely for that price, I would say it's worth it. Um, especially if you've got a HOTUS. Even if you don't, it's fine. But, uh, it's it's always fun to have another game to play with this thing. That ends if the Tartarus Liberation Front achieves a working prototype. Okay, so I gotta be totally honest, I'm not completely paying attention to the storyline here. Um, Alright, so what are we doing here? What is this guy? Do I blow this up? Empty. All right, on to the next one. So yeah, like I said, I've got boost, break, lasers, and missiles. Who are you? Get out of here. Come on, and we got him. All right, we're good, we're good. Oh, we got another one, huh? Trying to bother me when I'm getting shit done here? I'm trying to scan containers, man. Tired of all you ninja pirates. Alright, well, these guys are just bothering me. Hey, Wolfie! I'll deal with you later. I got some stuff to do, man. Now, I don't think there's a shield of any kind. If there is a shield, I'm not aware of it. Uh, I've never used it before. So I don't, I don't know that there is one. All right, let's scan this bad boy. Warp signatures detected. All right. Looks like the TLF scouts have arrived. That prototype is UTC intellectual oh, property. Shit. If they're so interested in our intellectual property, oblige them. Your trigger finger is resting on some. All right, what he means is shoot guys. I think so. I mean, pretty much the whole game is shoot guys. Uh, we'll see if they get some more interesting enemy types here. Like I said, I didn't play it uh, all the way through previously, so this will be a good excuse to go back and play it some more. And uh, it's already a more enjoyable experience than what I remember. Uh, I'm having a good time with it, Wolfie. I think the price is right. I think they've obviously shown some support by uh, adding a pretty major up update um, and patching a lot of stuff that people had issues with. And uh, it just looks better, it feels better. Yeah, I would, I would say it's a good patch. Hey, Roy, how's it going? All right, 
Where are we headed here? Over to the third canister. Wow, $7.99 in the US store? Man, I thought it was like 13 or something. That's crazy good. Um, you know, it feels less bare bones now, I think because of the graphical improvements. Like, just minor stuff like, so check this out. Uh, see how there's like a subtle rotation and there's like lightning and st animations on this planet? That's a new thing with this patch. That wasn't there before. And just minor stuff like that can really add to your sense of immersion, I feel like. Make it, uh, you know, take it up that notch from being like a obvious port of a Gear VR game to being something that feels Scanning. like it can be at home on a console. Scanning. So, definitely Bingo. big props That's to them. That's gotta for that. be it. Grab it and go before more of the TLF show up. All right, I'm grabbing the it. The additional mass is too much for the small warp drive of your mine house. My mission control ship is sitting just a small distance from the AO. Okay. We're warping to you. Sit tight. All right, they're warping in. My money's on. I gotta protect them when they warp in from these bad guys. All right, where are you guys warping into? Uh, HOTUS isn't a Me must, Roger, although Alpha. I Connor haven't Taylor's tried the new update without the HOTUS yet. Uh, I haven't tried it this on ship isn't meant for DS4. Combat. But I'm, I mean, a HOTUS is never a must, but it's always a nice uh, addition. And if it's an option, you know, you want to you wanna play it that way if you can. But I wouldn't say it's mandatory. Hey, Shug, how's it going? Do I have a wingman back there? Uh, nope, R2. Come on, R2. Shug, you can be my R2. Alright, what are we up to here? Just get into the ship, go into the ship. Congress transferred and preparing to warp. Alright. A wave of TLF fighters has arrived. Alright, let's take care of them. Alpha while we triangulate her warp I venture. knew it was going to be a protect mission. I can do that. Get out of here, man. Warp jump aborted. Further scans indicate the device is a bomb. Keep the oh, fighters shit. at bay while we disable the device. All right, let me get this guy. Hey, Paige, how's it going? Hope you're not still at work. If you've texted me recently, I have not seen it. I got out of my work uh, call early tonight, so that, that worked out. You guys don't know what I'm talking about, but that's my girlfriend in chat, so we're talking some personal talk. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Um, there is actually only one HOTUS that works on PS4, and it's the uh, Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS, and it's only like 60 bucks or something, so I would, that's the one I would recommend, because it's the only one, but it's well-priced. And, uh, you know, if you want to get a racing wheel that's good, you're going to have to spend like 200 bucks or something, but as far as HOTUS is concerned, you can get one for... 60, 70 bucks, and it's gonna be solid. Oh, sorry, so a HOTUS is a thing, it's an acronym that stands for Hands-On Throttle and Stick, and it's basically like, if you've ever seen one of those uh, flight stick controllers, that the right-hand side is like a joystick, and the left-hand side has a, was a, point uh, uh, agent. a throttle. So you can push the throttle forwards, pull it back for speed, and then I can like twist the stick and we'll turn right it and you. do all kinds of stuff. Um, so. Yeah, that's what a HOTUS is. It's good for flight games like this one. And um, there's a few other games you can play. Wow, it's 45 bucks on Best Buy. Yeah, guys, jeez, go to Best Buy. That's a good that's a good price. That's actually where I bought it and it was not 40 bucks back then, but All right. I don't think I have enough credits for any upgrades yet. But yeah, for 45 bucks, I mean, you can play Ultra Wings with it. You can play this. You can play Eve Valkyrie. Um, you can play Star Blood Arena, which is super fun with the HOTUS. I felt like I immediately got better at Star Blood Arena when I was playing with this thing. Um, so close. 21,000. Instead of constantly responding to threats. All right, let's destroy some stuff. I mean, so far the missions are a little bit uh, straightforward, a little bit This is know, the Liberation Front side station in which our agent was embedded before he perished. Like this, either shoot guys or defend a thing or blow up so certain stuff, but relays are required. it feels pretty good. Obviously, the message will get out that one ship is raiding the external platforms. Hey, don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't want okay. immediately advertised or the boarding parties will be sending the cap to the station immediately after you complete your mission. 
Yeah, I think I mentioned Ultra Wings. That's uh, one of the main ones you would get a HOTUS for, I would say. Are these the things that I'm disrupting, or what am I what am I doing here? Maybe I just need to get rid of these before it... Oh, shit. All right, no, 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 no. We're not getting shot by missiles here. That's not what I came here to do. Okay, so now it seems like we would be in range to do our mission. Where's the little mission? It's got to be right here somewhere. Yep, that's it. Now that looks like a different one. All right, I got some guys on my tail. Shit. Uh, I'm having fun with it. I love dogfighting games, though, so that might maybe that's me. Despy's been having some good deals on stuff lately, honestly. Um, I've mentioned it in other streams, but there's this game, Drop Mix. It's not a VR game, obviously. It's just like a regular... Uh, it's actually like a board game or a card game, but they had that on sale for like 20 or 30 bucks, and the, the base price is $100. It's crazy. Oh, jeez, I'm getting my ass destroyed here. There's like way too many guys now. Oh, no, my, my shit's cracked. Okay. All right, is this my mission? I'm going to blow these things up. I need to get the hell out of here. Okay. Oh, God. Come right down. Ah. Game over. I had a feeling I was going to blow up. Well, that's what it looks like when you die. Yeah, see? Paige knows. Dropmax is great. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, I have heard that No Man's Sky is not specifically coming to PSVR. Okay, I didn't get anything for that. Yeah, I mean, anything about it coming is just speculation at this point. Um, as far as what I've heard. Instead of it would be great, obviously, but... You know, all the big fancy PS4 games can't exactly uh, run in VR unless they're like this is the Liberation for VR. Front Side Station, okay, in which we're our agent was embedded before he perished. Oh, Electronauts is incredible. I have a lot of them. I am looking Obviously, forward the to reviewing that. Obviously, the message one ship is raiding the external platforms. What we don't want immediately advertised are the boarding parties will be sending the gap to the station immediately after you complete your mission. Destroy the arrays and take their voice. Expect fighter intercept from the local station and defensive emplacements near the relays. Alright, so these are what we're taking out, apparently. And it uh, looks like I don't necessarily have to One blow up those down. turrets. Two to go. Oh, Paige, come on. <laughs> Actually, one of the other guys uh, did a stream with that guy who I made that video making fun of. And honestly, he seems like he's an okay guy. He comes off as a blowhard for sure. I definitely... And he... So much misinformation, honestly. But I almost want to take the video down because he seems like an alright guy who's actually excited about VR. I don't know. I'm too much of a softie. I don't want to give somebody a hard time if their heart's in the right place. You know what I mean? The only thing I had to go off from him was that one video, so... Alright, here's my objective. Am I getting shot or what? Where's my health? Where's my health? Oh, it's down there in the middle, I think. Alright, let's gun it. Use that boost. Got a bunch of guys on my tail, but I'm hoping it doesn't matter once I start blowing everything up. Alright, oh, wait. This guy's getting too close. Alright, guys. Come on. Come on. Enough with that. Oh, no, I actually wasn't talking about, um... No, we don't need any misinformation. Yeah, I'm talking about 4K, 4K upscaler, not Atomorph. Hey, Penguin, I'm having a good time with it since the update. And it's on sale for, somebody said, 8 bucks right now. So, that, I mean, honestly, that's a really good, really good price. I'm going to die again. I'm neglecting my fighting. I'm doing too much seeking and destroying and not enough fighting. And I don't think there's any way to come back from a critical hull. I think I'm just going to blow up. Oh, God, this Game is where over. it starts getting hard. Jeez, or hard for me, I guess. But yeah, they just they patched it in a pretty huge way today. Um, free patch, obviously. Lots of stuff was fixed. Graphics were improved, uh, and it's definitely more immersive now. He vaped. Roy vaped. Okay, we're going to try this one again, I suppose. Now, instead of trying to just speed off to the next thing, I'm just going to take care of these guys as they pop up. So I don't have to worry about this five guys trailing me, shooting This is a liberation front side station in which our agent was embedded before he perished. 
The local nebula interferes with communications, so external comms relays are required. Obviously, the message will get out that one ship is raiding the external platforms. What we don't want immediately advertised are the boarding parties will be sending the gap to the station immediately after you complete your mission. Destroy the arrays and take their voice. Expect fighter okay. intercept from the local station and defensive emplacements near the relays. Alright, so I got the defensive emplacements unlocked. I can just spam them with laser fire to get rid of the missiles. But the fighters is what I need to take care of. One comrade down. Alright, let's go. do this thing. Gonna have fighters on my tail, I'm sure. There's some of them. Alright, maybe proactive here. Because if I let them just sit and shoot me in the ass, it's not going very well. Ooh, hey, you seem like a good target. Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. This guy's mine. Come on, come on. And he's, he's done. On to the next one. Yeah, this is going to be a lot better. Um, it's hard to really notice too many jaggies. I'm not seeing a whole lot of jaggies, honestly. I am on pro, which uh, is worth mentioning. Some people ask that. Yeah, these guys are wobbly. What the fuck is this guy doing? I can't even lock onto him. There we go. Wait, how am I already, like, critically... My hull is, like... Who shot me? I didn't think this game was hard. Maybe that's why I stopped playing before. Because <laughs> I just died too much. Okay. Uh, geez, come on with the missiles. Get with the missiles, okay? I know it's critical. Oh my god. There are no difficulty settings, so I'm just... St I'm stuck with this. I am gonna blow up. It's not looking good for me. I thought just attacking those guys head on would be enough, but... All right, so what am I worried about here is... Oh, God, all those missiles! Jesus! I guess that's another thing to worry about, too. All right, so first I take out the guys, then I take out the missiles trying to blow me up. And then maybe I won't die. This is definitely going to take a third try to get down. Um, you know, ever since they released the latest graphics patch for Skyrim, I've only had a chance to try it on Pro. Where the fuck did all these guys come from? Oh my god! Game over. Oh my god. I am not good enough to beat this. Holy shit. Um, but yeah, the, the graphics increase for Skyrim on the Pro for the new patch they released was huge. Huge. Um, I mean, just like all the minute details water, weather effects, all kinds of stuff. I definitely thought there was a difference. All right, well, this this stream might just be me uh, getting shot a bunch of times and blowing up, but we'll see. I'll try it again. And yeah, I just need Instead of a drink. Hey, Julian. This is the Liberation Front side station in which our agent was embedded before he perished. The local nebula interferes with communications, In so external missile. comms relays are required. Where, 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 where? Obviously, the message will get out that one ship is raiding the external platforms. What we don't want immediately advertised are the boarding parties will be sending getting the station immediately getting after stuttering? you complete your mission. Destroy the arrays and take their voice. All right, Expect so fighter intercept from the local station and defensive My tactic this time is going to be blow up the emplacements, too. Okay, there goes one. Okay, we got fighters inbound. Uh, any missiles on my tail? Now, I do wish still that there was a better representation of, like, uh, how much damage I'm receiving. Like, my shield is critical. Um, I know that because it just told me, so I guess that is the indication. But, like, any kind of just, like, a, a flash on the screen that I've been hit or something. It's like, I'm getting shot, and I'm not even realizing it half the time, and I don't even know where it's coming from. Maybe uh, having a controller with vibration helps, as far as that's concerned. Maybe just being good at the game helps, I don't know. 
I'm, I don't have any of these things. Also, maybe as soon as I lock onto a guy, I should just spam him with, like, as many rockets as I can muster. Alright, where... Okay, where are you, bud? Where are you? There you are. Alright, I hope that worked. Come on, come on. Come on. Got him. Okay. Oof. All right, well, my shield's looking good. My health's looking good. There's a guy on my butt trying to shoot me. That won't last very long because I got him. Okay. We're back in business. Yeah. I could. Alright, are there missiles locked onto me or anything? I need to know these things. Oh, there is an inbound missile. Where is it? Where is it coming from? What direction? You gotta tell me what direction it's coming from. I don't see it anywhere. Alright, well, shit. Alright, so these turrets gotta go. Absolutely. Ooh, there we go. Ow, yeah, yeah. Collision imminent. Not gonna happen. Not getting hit today. All right, looks like my shield should be recharging. And let's take care of these fellas. There goes one. All right, there you go. these guys are closer. Oh, oh, oh. That should be it for him. All right, I think maybe I am getting better at this because I don't feel dead yet. Oh my god, don't tell me my shield's critical right when I was telling you. Everybody in the stream how good I am at this. Jeez. Okay, well, it looks like my shield is coming back. I'm not currently in any major danger, although that could change very quickly. Got him, got him, got him. All right, I don't like when guys are tailing me because that's usually when I explode. Also, missiles. I'm gonna have to deal with you. Oh yeah, I don't know why it defaults to not head aiming because uh, it needs head aiming for sure. It's very hard. Like the missiles are head aiming always, but um... there's this son of a gun. Get him. Oh no! I've been hurt. I've been hurt. I'm like halfway dead. And I haven't even blown up one of these damn things yet. God, is this game too hard? Am I terrible at this? Oh, uh, you've got to be kidding. I wish I had a shield. Do game I not over. have a shield? I'm going to check the controls real quick. I swear to God. I wish I had a shield. I mean, I have a shield. But I wish I could trigger it when I want to. Because it just goes away, and I barely even notice, and then I'm sitting there all, all dead. Okay. Okay, so here's what it says. Uh, boost break. Uh, there are upgrades, but I have not bought any yet, because I haven't gotten enough... Uh, credits to buy one. So I'll show you the upgrades real quick. Uh, there's the ammo loadout, which is 25,000. And that's significantly more damage. Um, less energy used. There's also a missile loadout for 25,000. Um, less damage, but it's faster. And it locks on quicker. But I can't afford either of those yet. So, uh, what are we going to do? I wonder if you go back and you beat a mission again if you get credits for it. Let's try the first mission. I didn't show you guys this before, but I'm going to play an easy one. Get rid of that death frustration. I mean, I'm having a challenge right now. I'm Welcome to 34 almost Cabana, unexpected because the first few Head stages were pretty simple. With an extensive belt system. Our last scan indicates that at least one TLF fighter is still in the area. 
I've marked out three waypoints for you to investigate. Navigate through hey, the belt we'll until you reach the last waypoint. Alpha 2 will be accompanying you. Stay alert and find your target. Uh, it seems definitely improved, and, uh, you know, planning on a HOTUS is, is great. It's a lot of fun. Picking up a high velocity object in your sensors. I mean, I'm definitely having trouble beating this stage. Uh, not this one, but the one I just quit. Those are one has your name on it. Uh, Maintain your burn toward the next waypoint. Yeah, I hope they don't have a grind in here. I mean, I think it's just a matter of my dogfighting skills aren't particularly good enough. It's just and, uh, an empty cargo container. Keep moving. I mean, maybe I need an upgrade or something, but I, I feel like it's more about my shields than anything. Uh, who's this guy? He's just chilling. All right. But yeah, Will, it doesn't, I was saying earlier, it doesn't feel as much like a mobile port anymore. It feels more like a console game. Obviously a budget game. TLF fighter detected. Oh. Looks like we've found our intruder. Time to run your pay, contractor. Come on. All right, we got him. Be advised, warp gate activation detected. You have an additional. Make that multiple enemy contacts. Where they at? Yep, there's one. Oh yeah, no problem, Wolfie. Have a good night. Thanks for tuning in. Just doing loops around me, Jesus. All right, catch up with him. Yeah, they definitely have made some some graphical improvements. Uh, I, I agree with that. Yeah, the shadows look great. All right, last one, last one. Ready. Get you. Ooh, open box. Got him. Just lasers. Don't always need missiles. I do like they've got a really nice uh, big targeting reticle for where to track enemies, like where to shoot to hit them. That makes it a lot easier to hit people with your laser. Um, and I like that when you're out of rockets and stuff. Not that I'm always hitting that place uh, by any means, but there we go. Another one bites the dust. Kind of mission I can deal with. This is not too hard. Professional work pilots. Align your ship with guys. the warp vector to sync with the It is the first mission. That's Lima. probably why I can beat it easily. We'll send the team in to investigate with the Tartarus Liberation. Let's see if I get some more credits that I can use to uh, upgrade my shit. 
because that would be nice. Hey, I got some credits. Let's get ourselves an upgrade. What do you guys think? Missiles or lasers? I'm kind of in a lasers mood myself. Wait, what happened? I know I didn't turn anymore. Because I'm sitting in a chair plan, I notice. Okay. Uh, ship upgrades. Oh, yeah. Medium damage. Great tracking. Choose through a ship's hull. Alright, let's see if I can do any better on this one now. Instead of constant. I'm gonna deal with all the missiles as well as I can. I'm gonna blow up all the guys. This is the Liberation Front side station Friend in which that. our agent was embedded before he perished. The local oh, nebula interferes with communications, so external comms relays are required. Why can't I hit these? Obviously, things? the message will get out that one ship is raiding the external platforms. What we don't uh, want as far as I can tell, all the upgrades the are only for offensive stuff. Yeah. It's a little weird. I feel like I should be able to get a shield upgrade, because that would actually help me. Expect fighter intercept from the local station and defense of appointments near the relays. Alright, so. Taking care of rockets. Let's take care of this guy while we're over here. Alright, one down. Make quick work of this down. Guys. Two to go. Hopefully, give them something to deal with. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. You're almost dead. Gotcha. Okay, my shield is looking okay. Yeah, no, I would love some hull upgrades. Maybe even one that just, like, gave you a better idea of when you're getting shot and where you're getting shot from. That's, like, the only thing that I would say that they haven't improved yet. I mean, obviously I'm pretty into this stuff, but it's sticking out to me that they should improve. It's like, I still don't have a good sense of when I'm getting shot or where from. And when there's missiles coming at you, and you're, suddenly your shield is completely destroyed, uh, that's not a fun, that's not a fun feeling. I wouldn't call that a fun feeling. So it's just this inbound missile all of a sudden, and then I hear a little and then I've been hit, but that's, that's about it. Forget those guys. I'm not worried about the wobble guys anymore. Forget the wobble guys. Inbound missile. Fine, let it hit me. I don't care anymore. Gonna make sure nobody ever file or fires another missile again. Take care of these things. Oh my god, who is shooting at me? How is my shield critical? Man, get out of here! Where did you come from? I don't like shield critical. Blow up. Please blow up. There we go. Get out of here. God, so many missiles. I'm not a fan of this. Gonna, I'm gonna get blown up again. Stop it! Guys! Let my shield recharge at least or something. Just come on. Wish I could hide. I can't hide. Am I have I been shot again? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fucking die. That's all there is to it. I can't beat this stage. Man, I was liking this game. I'm just so not good at it. Or something. They said they adjusted it to make it more difficult, which, uh, maybe that's my least favorite thing about the patch. If it was easier before, uh, that would be fine. There's no difficulty option, so that's sort of a, a thing. Like, where is this guy? Okay, come on. You're mine, you're mine. You wobbly son of a gun. Yep, alright, now we're dealing with this thing. I wish my shields would recharge faster. Okay, that blew up. That's another comrade. Good. Just, Just one, one left. left. Yes. 
That's true. All right, let's get my shield like full again or something. Like, let's not blow up anymore. I'm cool with that. I'm very cool with that. It looks to me like there's no enemies around right now, which would be just absolutely incredible if that was true. I'm just gonna cruise over here. Guns blazing. Of course, we got some more fuckers. All right. Now, if you guys mess oh, with my sh oh no, the hole is already critical. God, this game is so. I was really liking it, but it's frustratingly hard. And I'm dead again. Game over. Game over. Well, damn. I guess I'll give this one more shot. Just for the sake of uh, not looking like a loser on my own stream, but jeez. Even with the upgrade, I still feel like I have no clue what I'm doing in that one. I mean, I know what I'm doing. I just There's just always some shit behind me, like a Step. missile I didn't know about, or a guy who pops out of nowhere who, like, as soon as I'm notified of him, I'm getting shot. Or I'm going towards an objective, and then just, like, this is a I don't feel like I have an indication which our agent was embedded before he perished. whether or not I'm actually about to get shot by a guy, or if I'm getting shot by a guy, or what the going on. Obviously, the message will get out that one ship is raiding the external platforms. What we don't want immediately advertise that the boarding parties will be sent in to capture the station immediately after you complete your mission. Destroy the arrays and take their voice. Expect fighter intercept at the local station and defensive emplacements near the relays. Alright, am I already being shot at? I can't tell. It doesn't doesn't appear so. One down. One comrade down. Two to go. Alright, so this is the one group I need to take care of now. It looks like the other group is further away. Come on. I don't need to lock on with a missile. Yep, we got a one uh, Machine gun. Okay. Have I been shot? I have been shot. See, I, the thing is, I don't know, like, I can never tell without looking down at my indicator whether or not, like there is a HUD, but there's not visual or audio cues well enough to indicate when you're getting shot and where you're getting shot from. So I just suddenly, I have like no fucking shield for no fucking reason as far as I can tell. I wasn't trying to get all frustrated at this game. I guess there are still some shortcomings, but for seven bucks right now, somebody said it's seven dollars in the store. I thought it was like thirteen. Um, it's still uh, definitely worth a shot, especially if you got a HOTUS. Now, who is shooting me? Get out of here, sir. Nope. Come on, come on. There he goes. And we're on to the next one. I need to really stay out on top of my my indicators as far as like when this guy pops in or whatever is going on because I mean that's just a wobbly guy I don't want to worry about the wobbly guy it's no good reason to worry about him incoming missile all right Let's take care of some stuff who and where who is shooting at me and from where? Okay, I see that there's a missile. Where is it coming from? Okay, I get it. I got it. I understand. Are these things all hitting me? It looks like they're going past me. This fucking guy is hitting me. Where? 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 Where did you go? Alright, that should be enough to deal with him. It's like I have no shield at the moment, which is unfortunate, and my hull has That's been damaged. That's another destroyed. Just one left. But I think this is my best run yet. 
somehow I got hurt again. Oh, these fucking missiles. Guys, I need to be notified when there's fucking missiles coming at me. Because my, my hull keeps going down. It's cracked now. Why? I wasn't getting hit by those missiles. I shot them out of the sky. Are there other missiles coming from behind me that I'm not aware of? Hull critical. Apparently there are. Uh, ah! What? Where is this shit coming from? Why am I just dying? Can anyone explain to me? Okay, it was over there, I guess. Game over. Alright. Well, that was the closest I ever got. Man! Well, I'm still recommending this game. I'm frustrated. It's probably because I'm not that good at it. Maybe there is a weird difficulty spike there. Um, I will have to play some more of it later and find out. But for right now, I'm not the kind of guy who likes to just ple like replay the same mission over and over again on a stream. And uh, don't want to get frustrated and shout at the game. But basically, they made a lot of improvements to this. Um, they did tweak the difficulty to make it harder, which I think, if they're going to do that, give us a difficulty setting. You know, let me make it less hard again. Because I'm the kind of guy where I just want to have fun and enjoy the thing. I'm not there to play a stage 20 times before I beat it, uh, you know, to, like, get good. Um, and that's there's certainly games for that. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's a little frustrating. So maybe they'll patch that back, <laughs> you know, to give you some options for difficulty. Because it is harder, it seems like, than it used to be. But um, I still had a good time with it for most of the time until that last stage. And graphically, it looks way better. Uh, the sound is better. Um, you know, I've been playing with the HOTUS, and I had a good time with controlling the ship. It felt pretty solid. And, uh, you know, for the price it's at right now, it's hard to go wrong with this one. I mean, it's like 10 bucks or less in the U.S. right now. So uh, somebody said 7 I saw $13. i am going to say it's right in the middle. That's my guess. Or it's 7 and I'm wrong. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Um, definitely check this out if you haven't already. Uh, I think it's a pretty cool thing, especially if you got a HOTUS and uh, don't mind getting blown up in space a few times if you're not good enough. But uh, I will catch you guys later. Thanks.